Hello, Leo. Welcome to your You versus Them reading. Well, we will look at the entanglement energy going on between you and another party. This can be a person, place, or thing. Take it however it resonates with you. And remember that these are general readings, so you can also check your moon and your rising signs. And Crosswatcher, if you're watching, the message might actually be for you. Lastly, these are timeless readings, so let's dive right in. Okay, so we'll check the past, the present, and future energies, along with some advice and the outcome for you, Leo. So let's start where you're presently at. The present energy of Leo. Okay, so we have the Ten of Voices. And let's see on the other side of the energy, the other energy you're meshed with. Let's look at them. Okay, wow. Okay, so they have the Ace and you have the Ten. That's so funny because that's like endings and that's beginnings. <laughs> okay, let's hold clarifier. Let's clarify the Ten of Voices. So that correlates to the Ten of Swords, the Standard Tarot. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like you're clear on what you want and you're okay ending this or letting go. Let's hold on. Let's get a couple cards out. Let's look at the clarifier for them. Ace. So we got the Four of Coins. Um, it honestly, it felt like afraid energy, like they're more afraid to start anew and you're clear on what you want and you don't care about letting this go and moving on. Let's, uh, look at the shared energy between you two. We can get some more information. Ah, there's another queen. Okay. So is another party involved? Let's clarify the queen. Okay, what do we got here for you, Leo? We got the Knight of Coins. Okay. <sighs> there might be a couple people here. You know, let's look at the past energy of you, Leo. I feel like I need more information with yours. Let's look at past energy for Leo. Seven of Voices. Uh, that just feels like a wrong turn, like a wrong choice. Um, but maybe that's where you get clear and you decide to end whatever's going on because uh, it just feels like, no, I don't want to go down that alley. But it feels like the wrong turn. And you realize it right away. It's the wrong direction. Clear. Um, let's look on their side. Oh, oh we're flipped. A page of voices. Okay. And the shared connection. Whoa, that one came out. Wow. Okay, yeah, there's definitely another person here. Look at we have two queens coming out. Um honestly, you know what actually really it feels like? It doesn't feel like this is necessarily another person. It could be. It just feels like two strong females almost competing against each other. That it's very feminine energy and it's it might be coming from both sides. It's like too much feminine and there's not the balance where there's feminine and masculine to even it out. It's like uh that's what it honestly feels like. Let's clarify the seven of voices. Okay, nine of swords. Clarifying the page of voices in the past. The other energy Leo's entangled with, Three of Swords. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, at least in the past, yeah, there's a lot of air energy going on here. Let me clarify this Queen of Emotions. It doesn't seem like a fit either way, you know, as I pull out the Knight and the Two of Cups. I'm sorry, but that's what I, it didn't feel like it was a match on either side. Um, it feels like maybe there was a start uh, a rekindling of something is kind of what it feels like a familiarity. So if this um, person you've known in the past or the situation that's coming back up, it kind of feels like it's new, but it's familiar new. Like somebody maybe you haven't seen in a long time or you're back at a, to a place you haven't been to in a long time or revisiting a situation. It does feel familiar energy. It doesn't feel like brand brand new but here's the thing i feel like when you revisit this energy you immediately are like wait no i remember why i left this behind or why i don't talk to them or why i don't go here why I don't do this and you're like nope and you immediately realize that it's like you turn i don't want to make that turn and repeat those past 
mistakes again because you get really clear and this is what that is because you're like you know what you want it, uh, it's like your memories <laughs> are making you clear on on um leaving that in the past because it wasn't good for you um let's go into future energies for leo because I, I do kind of feel like I'm still missing something on this side. It's very clear about what's going on with you. Um, let's go on in the future because we do... I'm going to try to get some more information. Okay, four of emotions and nine of materials. Okay. Um, once you make your decision, don't regret it. Don't look back. Don't second guess it because... Um, there might be that reminder. I don't know why, because I was feeling that competitive energy that where it's almost like this jealous moment, like, oh my God, they have it all. Why, why did I not take that opportunity to follow through on their offer or go with them on this trip or whatever it may be? I don't know why I just said that. That was very particular, but maybe that means something to somebody. But, um, so I feel like there is a moment where you kind of like, wait, uh, should I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? But I feel like, no, that's here to say you definitely made the right choice. Remember, learn from the past, and you were clear about what you want right now, and you just need to follow through and let it go. Let's look at the future energies with this other party. Uh, what flipped? Five voices. Okay. Ah, <laughs> that's so funny. <sighs> Uh, they kind of start feeling the same thing as you. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's clarify the five voices. Because you'll be okay walking away from this and letting it go. But whatever this is, it's like sorrow without you. There's the empress. It can't create without you. It's like they need you more than you need them. Uh, let's look at the shared energy going on between you two. The three of materials. Okay, so yeah, there's... <laughs> Let me clarify this first. There might definitely be another person involved, as I was going to say, and here comes out the king. But I feel like here the energy is like two feminine energies almost competing. And here somebody, um, maybe by walking go and taking the action step, it's like activating the masculine energy within you because... Um, I feel like you have it, but I feel like they need it. And so they're missing it because they're very still feminine in the creative energy, but I feel like they still can't create. It's like they're missing a piece of the puzzle without you. It's like the third piece of the puzzle is the masculine energy that they're still stuck trying to create, but they, uh, it's like the lack of balance. Let's look at um, some advice for you, Leo. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's so funny six of voices so what did i say like you'll have this moment like second guess like wait should i should i did i make a mistake am i regretting this but like the the advice card is walk away let it go so right now the present energy or literally what's about to come to you if you're not in this right now is you're done you don't want to repeat this you're very clear on what you want You'll have a moment where you second guess it, but the advice is, like I said, what did I say? You'll be better off without them, it, whatever this is. The advice is to let it go, let it go. Don't bring that energy back around. It doesn't seem helpful to you. We can just clarify it, even though this basically saying everything I just said. Um, clarify the six of voices. Seven of cups. So as you allow that energy to fade away, I feel like new opportunities are starting to form, um, but they're they're not coming into fruition yet. It's just like the beginning of the beginning, but this has to leave first. We can look at an outcome for Leo. It's so weird because this doesn't really feel like a person. It's very... We're going to pull on that in a second because I feel like I'm missing something still here. Oh, okay. That's what that is because I kept feeling like I was missing something on their side. And what did I say? They're missing the piece of the puzzle. It's all feminine, feminine, create, create. Like, and they're missing the masculine side because I'm like, what am I missing? What am I missing? I don't get it. And I was getting it from this side. And I literally just said a minute ago, they were missing the piece of the puzzle. Well, that's what I'm missing over here. 
uh, the balance, the give and take, the equal share, but it feels like also, yes, reciprocation energy, like there needs to be equal give and take, but, and maybe they were taking too much as you were giving, because I also kind of feel that as well, but it does feel too much feminine. That's the, that's the missing piece, just like uh, <laughs> balance, even energies, masculine, feminine, give, take, like it's so simple, 50-50, but they didn't get it. Maybe that's why you walk away. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's clarify. No. <laughs> Sorry. Let's look at the outcome for Leo. Like the final outcome. Like this is more future. Like what's about to come in. Like sooner rather than later. But like once this is all said and done. Let's look at outcome energies. Okay. Okay. Muse of Materials, which is the king of material, uh, king of pentacles. Let's do a couple clarifiers. I think I need at least.